flows, astral body continues. From the age of 14 to 21, the astral body evolves. Many things begin to grow, like reasoning, thinking, intellect is grown. After the growth of the astral body, individual reaches the adulthood. The 21 years are required for the development of the astral body in a normal sense. The majority of people do not ahead than this, beyond this. Their surmount stops suddenly with the growth of the third body and there are no anterior fabrication for the rest of their lives. Once you have reach the center, center of your being, the continuum of your individuality that is the out, that is the outcome of the development of the astral body stops. Now begins the universal existence. This is the time when your universal existence has to begin at the age of 21. You will not enter into another womb again and you will not be burnt on another funeral pyre. Now you will be one with the whole. Of course, everything has a cost. You have to drop your long cherished individuality. Millions of years you have loved your individuality, but the individuality at the final stage becomes the hindrance. Now you have to take a jump out of the continuum and become one with the whole. That is why the people who attain to enlightenment, it is around 21, they get enlightened because they jump out of the, the normal astral body they reach to their center and become part of the existence. What was in your individuality have you ever thought? Your individuality was like a light prison which carried you from womb, one womb, passing through the grave to another womb and this process of passing through one womb through to another womb via the root of grave continued the same process again and again. That is why East has called this life at the Kal Chakra, cycle of death. To jump out of this cycle is the whole purpose of meditation and to come out of this continuum which has been just a deep anguish, anxiety and fear and to disappear into the blue sky. This disappearance into the blue sky is not your death. This disappearance makes you one with the whole, but there remains tremendous fear about death into minds of the people. Those who go into different meditation techniques like Vipassana and other techniques as they start going deeper or sometimes they are touched by the deeper realms, the fear surfaces. This disappearance into or merger into the vast existence or the blue sky is not your death. This disappearance makes you one with the whole. It is like the inner space in the room comes to an end and dissolves into the total, the 
outside the space that is outside your room. The inner space and the outer space become one. And to be one with the whole is greatest joy. But because of the conditionings of the mind and fear, and in the absence of proper understanding or guidance as regards doing the meditation technique, one feels that fear about death. This is the merging one with becoming one with the whole is the greatest joy and blissfulness as well. Nothing is more significant than this. It is full of splendor and more majestic. Here all the Buddhas have disappeared in the ultimate eternity of existence. It is freedom from individuality. Death is freedom from individuality. You are so much attached to your individuality that I-ness remains and you do not want to. You feel with that you will not be able to exist as long as the, the space within the room feels that I am the individual and wants to protect the individuality, there will always be fear when it comes to merger with the outer space. You have known freedom <coughs> from others, but you do not recognize that you are still a slave to your own individuality. It is a cage. It does not matter it may be golden, open the cage and fly across the sun into the blue sky. Inside the egg, the young bird feels protected. And then one day it has to come out or break the outer shell and come out. When it comes out, it remains in the nest, nest room, in the nest and the mother bird feeds the young one. Then one day the mother bird pushes the young one out of the nest and it falls. In that moment it has to survive and starts flashing, flapping its wings and learns the art and grows, learns the art of flapping its wings and flying. Open the cage and fly across the sun into the blue sky and disappear without leaving any footprints or trace behind. This Gautam Buddha used to call anatta. No self, no mind, no you, no individuality, no I. Lalaji used to say, doing the work of the masters, dissolve in the existence leaving no footprints as if no one with this name ever existed. This is, this in fact can be said in another or myriad ways. I have told you about Kabir. When he was young, he became enlightened and he wrote a small poem in which the line comes, the drop has disappeared in the ocean as Sufis call it, Fana fuel shake, the drop merging into the ocean. When he was dying, he called his son Kamal and told him to change that line. Kamal said, it is so beautiful, the dew drop has disappeared in the ocean. Why are you changing it? And what is this substitute? Kabir said, these were my these are my last breath. Do not argue. Simply do what I am saying. You write instead the ocean has disappeared in the drop. Herat herat he sakhi raya kabir herai. Bunda samani samundama. Herat herat he sakhi bunda Samani Samundame 
Kabir is a stuck wonder. Days ago, the drop has merged into the ocean. This is one showed up enlightenment. Where your individuality disappears, <coughs> but you are so disturbed with it that you do not want to allow your individuality to dissolve into the vastness of the ocean. Sufis call this as Pana fuel shake. Then he wrote the second line Herat Herat He Sakhi Raha Kabir Herai Samunda Samana Bundamu. Kabir is a stuck wander days ago with surprise. Ocean has become drop. This is Pana fuel she Pana fuel Murib. The Sheikh is so much in love with the disciple because of his austerity, because of his dedication that the master continues to think of the disciple and the ocean has become a drop. These are the two shores. Between these two shores flows the river of consciousness and when you have achieved the two shores, the drop merging into the ocean and ocean becoming drop, it, is, it happens simultaneously. There is no time gap between the two. Fanafiul Sheikh and Fanafiul Murib, between these two flows the river of consciousness that Sufis call Bakabi Allah. You live by the divine will. As Nanak called, Hukum Rajai Chalana Nanak Likhiya Nag. There is an existential law that governs and guides everything, you are floating into that. The ocean has disappeared in the dewdrop. This was my first impression. Then this is my last impression now, saying that the ocean has become drop. Saying this, he closed his eyes. Thus he experienced. But both the impressions are beautiful. In the beginning, of course, you will see the dew drop disappearing in the ocean, your individuality disappearing into the vastness of the ocean. This, so your in death of your individuality, you consider as death. And this happens, This you experience that fear comes in meditation if you are doing on your own without the guidance of an awakened one that fear remains and it is the master, it is the awakened one and his energy field allows you to overcome this fear of dissolving of the individuality into the ocean or drop becoming ocean or the stage of Pana fuel sheik. And when this happens, the other shore naturally happens, Pana fuel muri. And when these two are complete, the river of life, river of consciousness, now it is not the individuality that is growing. Although you exist as an individual, you have to live your life in the world. But earlier you were guided by the mind. Now you are guided by the consciousness, that light that is flowing between the two shores of Fana fuel shake and fun of you murid drop merging into the ocean individuality dissolving in the ocean and ocean becoming one ocean becoming drop when ocean becomes drop it does not give you individuality it gives you life of light and that's where the astral body completes its journey the first drop merging into the ocean and then ocean becoming drop, these are the two shores which form the entire astral body. After that, you are free to move. Um, the, you can exist simultaneously at two places and you can do the astral traveling if the need arises. Your disciple is in intense need of you. Your energy field will manifest in such a manner that the person will feel your presence around enough for now.